Egypt, a leading economy on the African continent. Today faces a population boom amid challenging economic and urban conditions. Just 4% of land along the Nile River is home to 99% of the more than 100 million Egyptians. In 2015, Cairo launched a transformative agenda to tackle its developmental challenges, starting with something Egypt has always been known for, architecture. The pyramids, the Sphinx, and the Luxor Temple. For 5,000 years, Egypt has constantly pushed its boundaries for engineering and the civilization. So it's not surprising that the country is not settling for anything but the best. In the past 50 years, Egypt has witnessed incredible infrastructure upgrade, and this rapidly growing country is not slowing down. The nation's ambition is changing lives. To the north of Cairo, a new force rises majestically from the desert. New Alamein City Located by the Mediterranean Sea, the city is expected to become an economic and industrial hub. Today, it's home to architects and builders from home and abroad. It's very quiet. I very quiet. Really quiet here. I can smell it, actually. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> So Hila, an Egyptian engineer, is one of them. So does the smell remind you of your hometown, mm -hmm. Alexandria? Alexandria is one of modern Egypt's traditional economic and cultural hubs. But she has grander visions for the city she's currently working on. Do you think when the Alamein city is finally completed, will it be, become better than Alexandria? It will be better than everything. Well, I was working here <laughs> one time. Mm. I can't tell my children what your mom was working here. Together with her Chinese colleagues, Sohila is now responsible for making sure the construction boom is developing according to plan. This is really not a working environment that people would usually thing a girl would prefer, but look so he was there, just really enjoying it. So they will plant a river here? No, they will, they will. What is your, maybe the dream of your life, or the goal of your life? Yeah, a famous engineer outside. Outside, you mean worldwide? Yeah. Working at the mega project uh, and uh, also international company like Sasek, it's giving me, um, you know, a, a good, uh, a good step for my future. Like I wanted to uh, go outside to uh, to be a good engineer outside. That uh, I should, that make me here first step to go there. In Egypt, Sohila says. There are still conservative beliefs that insist women should stay at home in a male-dominated working environment. Making men follow her instructions proves a challenge. The Workers, laborers deserve. The laborers. I uh, feel that uh, what women at the site, I can't uh, treat her like uh, an engineer. I can't treat her like a woman. Go away. And Does it actually affect your work? Do you have to talk no to them? Of course. Uh, I can deal with them, and also our Chinese is a good uh, protector for us. They can uh, protect me from anything. But her proficiency is highly recognized by other engineers. Mr. Sohaila is a very helpful woman with us and also has experience to benefit us for many sides. I also heard that, uh, that in Egypt, in a more cons uh, conservative perspective, they don't want women to come out and work. Or maybe they don't have strong willingness to work. Is it true? It's up to her. It's up to her willingness. It's up to her uh, uh, loveness for uh, the work. I saw Mr. Uh, Engineer Suhaila uh -huh. have uh, expression to work here. Okay. He has uh, great experience. I think the girl can do anything. If she wanted to do anything, she can do anything. Maybe sometimes you can see here at Egypt, uh, mechanical engineers, the girl can go uh, in, uh, under the car to fix it and do anything. Mm. So no, a woman can do anything. 
like the city, so Hila's dreams are still developing. But the power she's gained along the way is already the dream for many women in Egypt and beyond.